So, the OnePlus Nord 4 versus the blazing fast Poco F6. I think we all have an idea which one is the more capable gaming phone, but which one is the more well-rounded phone in all aspects. I'm going to compare these two mid-range behemoths to tell you which one you should spend your money on. So, let's go. Also, subscribe for more such detailed and honest tech reviews and comparisons. Don't hesitate. First, let's get the specs out of the way. You can see them on your screen right now and the POCO seems to be ahead in terms of display and some other hardware. But specs don't tell you the full story. I will. So let's see how they compare in tests and real-world usage. The POCO F6 and the OnePlus Nord 4 have a good in-hand feel, but the OnePlus Nord 4's aluminium body feels more premium and classy, but it is more slippery than the POCO F6 plastic back panel. The action button is super satisfying and tactile, and of course you don't get that on the F6. While both phones are 8mm thick, the F6 is lighter and you can actually feel that. The OnePlus Nord 4 has a better IP65 rating though. However, it disappoints with the Panda glass protection. Poco, on the other hand, uses the flagship level Gorilla Glass Victus protection. Still, because of the aluminium body and the action button, the OnePlus Nord 4 feels like the more premium design. Both displays are spectacular. The Poco F6 and the OnePlus Nord 4 look really crisp, but the colors are slightly more vivid on the Nord 4. Additionally, the Poco F6 doesn't just have HDR support like the Nord 4, but it also has Dolby Vision, which is excellent for the price. Poco also has higher peak brightness, but in HBM mode, both displays had nearly identical readings with the Nord 4 at 1081 nits and the Poco F6 at 1078 nits. Poco also has HDR support in Netflix, while the OnePlus Nord 4 doesn't. So I would give the edge to the Poco F6 for content consumption because of its Dolby Atmos stereo speaker setup and the HDR support in OTT apps. The Snapdragon 8 as Gen 3 is a faster chipset than the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3, so naturally the Poco F6 decimated the OnePlus Nord 4's benchmark scores in every single test. Be it CPU, GPU and even storage scores, the POCO F6 was just better. It also throttled lesser than the OnePlus Nord 4. However, in real-world performance, both perform exquisitely well. They're smooth, snappy and they stay relatively cool to the touch, even in intense usage scenarios thanks to both of their inbuilt cooling systems. Gaming on both phones is excellent, gameplay is smooth on the highest settings, but we'll do an FPS comparison in an upcoming short video, so stay tuned for that. As for software, you get longer 4 plus 6 years of software support on the Nord 4 and the bloatware is relatively lower as well. And finally, in AI tests, the Nord 4 got a higher digit AIQ score thanks to its more expansive set of AI features. Although the POCO F6 NPU is capable of outputting higher benchmark scores, the OnePlus Nord 4 has a more extensive suite of AI features, which is why it got the overall higher digit AIQ score. The Sony IMX 882 on the POCO F6 and the Sony LYT600 on the Nord 4 are very similar camera sensors, but the tuning on both phones is where the differences lie. In daylight, the OnePlus Nord 4's photos have better dynamic range with lower noise levels, but the detail is slightly better on the POCO if you pixel peep. But the highlights are really, really badly produced on the POCO. The company really needs to improve this. See how the detail in the clouds is completely lost on the POCO here? Close-up shots are slightly crisper on the POCO with more natural colors. OnePlus also fails to focus on close-up shots at times. 2x in-sensor zoom photos look crisp on both phones, but OnePlus's colors are more contrast-heavy. Portrait photos are slightly better on the POCO F6. Both are quite bad, but OnePlus really messes up skin tones, plus POCO's edge detection is more on point. But in tricky lighting, OnePlus's portraits have more depth and character. The POCO photos look very two-dimensional. Selfies look better and more natural on POCO 2, so surprisingly, POCO takes the win in the camera department. The OnePlus Nord 4 has a monstrous 5500 mAh battery which easily should last most users two whole days. It beat the POCO F6 in our 4K video loop test by lasting over 18 hours, while the POCO F6 lasted nearly 15 hours, which is not bad too. However, the Nord 4 just has much better battery endurance, giving me nearly 10 hours of screen on time on a daily basis. 
Plus, it charges to full faster. It takes only 29 minutes to go from 0 to 100, whereas the POCO F6 takes 38 minutes to do the same. The OnePlus Nord 4 and the POCO F6 are very evenly matched, more than I even expected. Both have their own strengths and weaknesses, so it depends on your preferences and needs for you to figure out which phone you should buy. If you're looking for a phone with an excellent display, good cameras and snappy performance, consider the POCO F6. If you want a phone with a premium build, possibly the best battery life on a mid-range phone and long software support, go for the Nord 4. And with that, we've come to the end of this video. Stay tuned for more and subscribe. See you next time. P.S. Let us know what other phones you want us to compare with each other and we'll do that really soon. Bye!